One of the core beliefs in the College of Communication and Information is the value of developing a global perspective. We believe we have a mission to help students along their journey as citizens of the world. One of the ways we do that is to offer learning opportunities outside the conventional classroom. In 2024, students from different majors across the college completed a four-week study abroad experience in Lisbon, Portugal, where they used their talent, skills, and knowledge to build a digital resource that celebrates and promotes the contributions of African immigrants to Portugal. And it means our children in Swahili, that's the meaning of the word batotoyetu, and basically they are a group that works to um, enhance the lives of young African descended people in Portugal and also educate them and others on the impact of the African legacy in Portugal. People of African descent actually made up um, Portugal uh, once before, so basically the history that has gotten erased about African people and their contributions to Lisbon and Portuguese society, um, they're basically retelling those stories um, for the current generations and the generations to come so that way they can know the true history, which is pretty cool. The Kent students worked with Batodo Yetu to help them promote African culture in and around Lisbon by developing a web page that captures and shares photos and background information of important cultural contributions of the African diaspora. Overall, everybody worked with within their skill set, but also got to experiment with things outside of their skill set. So I got to work with some uh, videography, which I had never done before, but also I got to do some web design, which I had prior experience of. As part of the study abroad experience, students enjoyed two field trips. The first was a day trip to Setubal, a city about 45 kilometers outside Lisbon that shares a coastline with the Sado River and the Atlantic Ocean. Students visited a market selling fresh fruits, vegetables, meat, and fish. The other field trip was an outing to the town of Sintra, located in the hills just outside Lisbon. Sintra is a popular tourist destination for its historic palaces, castles, beaches, parks, and gardens. When you're in Lisbon, it feels like, oh my gosh, this is all of Portugal, this is all I'm going to see. But once you step outside of that center and start going into these like coastal areas, these cliff sides and these rural areas, you start seeing a different perspective on how the Portuguese view themselves. It helped us realize that culture is much more complicated and it's just different elsewhere. And that's not necessarily bad, it's just a new experience. So this trip just opened my eyes to being more understanding and willing to learn from others. When you have an experience that completely changes how you view learning, how you view the learning experience, it just makes you excited for more. It makes you excited to see, wow, what else is out there? What else can I learn? What else can I experience? Um, how many more people do I get to meet? It's, it's humbling in the most amazing way possible. This whole trip showed how little and not insignificant, but how little we are compared to all of the amazing things around the world. And a lot of times, things that our ancestors have lived. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I would definitely highly recommend any study abroad trip that's available to students during that semester or summer. I think overall, the experience that you get and the knowledge that you learn and gain from from doing something like that is uh, is priceless, you know.